guys. You know why? We're at Pioneer Village Corner. Yes. Here, the Florida Strawberry Festival 2019, Plant City, Florida. And we're going to show you how to make a rope. This young lady right here is going to be the magician that turns this twine into rope. Okay, so we have a patented 1901 rope winder. A 1901 rope winder. So this Under patent still. So this means we have no trophies. Every member of our family is an integral working member of our survival team. This is a six-strand sisal. I'm going to tell you everything I know, and in a few minutes you're going to know everything I know. So here it is. It has what's called a lay. Lay means how it is at rest. No cheating, no Okay, if you turn this counterclockwise. That counterclockwise. you got to listen. Here we go. I'm winding. Whoa. Did you have the same amount of strands on that? Six strands, three lay rope is what you made. Six strands. Now you're seeing it come down to three strands. Now the interesting thing I'm going to tell you is I started where you are, I came down to this end, but when I got down to the end, I looked over my shoulder, and it looks like you're at the end. I know. I know. And I'm at the beginning, but just for coming and going, I'm going to say I'm at the end. Okay. And then I'm going to take liberty to tell you that the beginning, the beginning is in the end. Okay? And Sounds like life. Absolutely. There's no difference in learning the ropes and living your life. So then I'm even going to tell you that a good beginning is half well done. For all those people that say tension is killing us, I'm going to tell you you have to get off the couch before you get her done. <laughs> so when we get to the end here, you have now reached the end of your rope. You notice I'm at the end of my rope in the beginning. So That's I'm going to just recap that for you. That a girl. So the beginning is in the end, and the end is in the beginning. So we say what goes around comes around. That's where that. So you know what my mother would say? You reach the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. That is amazing. It's like anything else. You've always heard the old saying about why buy the cow when you get the milk free? There you go. If a man has a good line, he probably could tie the knot as well. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Too long to know better. About 30. You're one of the most talented people in this whole place that I've you, met. You know what's really funny? Somebody came up and they said, if you've been doing this for a while, you can tell me about some of the people who used to be out here. And then they kept asking me, what happened to that young girl? And I said, well, how many years ago was that? And he said, I don't maybe 10 years ago. And the wife said, oh no, it was, you forget time, it was 20 years ago. I said, I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> no, I love it. That's, and that's the truth. That's just the truth. So much better today, weather-wise. Yes, thank goodness. Yesterday was terrible. I'm so loaded down with clothing, though. I have to take time out to go in the shade. Yep. This is that. what they call made in the shade. Yep. Why okay. do you have all the clothing on? Because when I got up, I'm a patio pansy. I've been in the South now for 45 years. So when you say C-O-L-D, I don't say that. What do you say? Thank God for the heat. Throw the shovel away. There you go. It's if you think that you know everything, you're going to miss everything. Because you've already isolated yourself from knowledge. When I came out here, I was in an organization called SWET, Society of Workers in Early Arts and Trades. And there's always a schism. I don't care if it's your church, I don't care what it is. When you gather people together, there's a debate about how things should be. And another person developed wheat workers in historical early arts and trades.
So one day I showed up to demonstrate and I was a broom maker at the time. And they had two broom makers and the guy said, go over there and make rope. I said, what do I know about making rope? I don't, I'm not gonna get out there in the big public and do something I don't know how to do. So here's the difference and I advise this to teachers. Do not stand on the stage and think that it is, you are the only one dispersing information. Allow the student to discern. Because people are going to tell you something that's going to be a puzzle piece to the bigger picture. There's someone in front of you, there's someone in back of you, and there's someone to the side of you. And all of those people have a unique ability to give you a piece of that puzzle. So, part of the love is receiving gifts. I so, received a gift. That's right. It's free, too. Yeah. Thank you. It's free. Yeah. Thank you. So that's it. As I did it, all of a sudden, my mother used to say when I was a kid, you kids keep winding, I'm reaching the end of my rope. On an average of 18 hour a day without any kind of guarantee, you're looking, necessities, the mother of invention, you're looking for ways to ease the tension in your life, to get back to rest. If you run, 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 run all the time and you don't get any rest, you'll run yourself out. But if you're resting all the time, Things get sloppy and they get away from you. So I'm going to say I do and I'm going to play with the next person. Let me take a moment to show you that. I'm going to make a short piece of rope with you. Now a short piece of rope is the same as a long piece of rope, but um, do you know the difference? Yeah. They're really the same. Same. Yeah. Same thing. Right. He's not too sure about it. The short piece is shorter and the long piece is longer. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you, you must be the one that found out why, you know, when you see a flock of geese flying over the V pattern, there's one, of the, one of those lines is always longer than the other. You know why that is? Huh? I don't know why. It has more birds in it. <laughs> yeah. So here's what takes place. This is a, <laughs> this is a six strand. <laughs> So you wouldn't really call a man a short, I know really, a short piece of rope because what you're saying to him is he doesn't have much temperament. It doesn't take him very long to come to the end of his rope. If you're letting out goats, that's a good way to start with a short piece of rope and a short line. Some of you younger people, you know, I've heard them say, I'm going to text her, ask her out on a date with a text. And I said, why is that? Because you think you can edit it. But what you're telling me is you're not comfortable being in process, you just want an end result. So every time you turn it, you're putting tension on the leg. If you say to a man, give him enough rope, what are you doing? What are you calling him? <laughs> yes, slacker. That's how you're there at the end of your rope. That's it. Once you reach the end of your rope, you're not going any further. You're going to have to take and tie a knot and hang on. Now, this is a great... You, I normally wouldn't give a person a short piece of rope because it's it's a rude way of saying having a conversation. So I don't want you to think of this as a short piece of rope. I want you to realize that you may... I'm going to even guarantee this because you made it at the Strawberry Festival. You hang it on the wall and be a great dust collector. <laughs> now, do you know the difference between a dollar and a quarter? Not really, not anymore. Not they don't either quarter. one go very far. Huh? Used to be all it took to get across the border was a quarter. <laughs> and now, you know, I don't even know. It's like the seasons. I don't even know about the seasons anymore. You know, you're, don't you tell kid me, girl. You know. <laughs> Thank you for bringing them by. And I love when your eyes get so big, they look like they're going to pop and just go right out on their own. <laughs> What you said was amazing. It's perfect. <laughs> it's, 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 it's life cycle. It, it, actually, the truth about it is there's no difference in this line to learning the ropes. You can save a life, lose a life, or make take a, a life. Make a hammock to sleep in, a rug to hold the heat in, sail away. Happy sailing. Not away. Enjoy your day, folks. It's time for a corn dog.